Hey, I'm Brandon with Diamond J Customs. Welcome back to another day in the shop. Today is all about our new plasma cutter we got from STV CNC. It's a five by 10 plasma cutter capable of cutting four by eight sheets of any metal that conducts electricity. Steel is mostly what we're using it for. Before we can get this thing up and running, I have to attach the plasma head and get some of the wiring done. For those new to our channel, we make ATV suspension kits. We mostly work with quarter inch steel and we also powder coat that steel here in this same manufacturing area. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get to this video and see if we can't get a working plasma table by the end of it. All right, we've got the plasma head attached and wired. Now let's pull out the laptop, see if we can get this thing moving around like it's supposed to, and then get to doing some test cuts. All right, so first issue I've ran into while messing around and moving the plasma head around, I think by not setting soft limits, I went too far off the edge and now the gear just spins. So we'll get the table back on, set those soft limits, get our homing back in and see if we can move the table again. All right, here we go. We got it back on the rails. So now that we've got everything running, our next step is to see if we can get it to run on its own. I'm gonna bring in a DXF file and see, one, that our dimensions are correct, but two, that we can have the machine run on its own, trace out what we wanna cut, and then the next step is powering it up and actually cutting. So first step in getting our plasma table functional is to make sure our gearing is correct, that when we say we're moving a foot in our software, we actually move a foot on our machine to make sure that we're doing this correctly. I've laid down this ruler so you can see we're at zero inches. And here on our Y axis, it's also right at zero. And so when I move now away and we see this number, this should be reading in inches. So right now we should be at seven and a half inches. We can see that's correct. So we're good with our gearing. If you have any mistakes, I don't know how to help you because our machine just came correct like this. We've seen in different forums and we've read that this could be a problem and you have to re-gear. Luckily in our case, we're correct off the bat. So let's move on. All right, so I got it to run a path by itself. Let me show you what's going on here. So we've got this part here. Sorry for the blinking screen. The uh, outlined parts are what we've already cut, what it's outlining here, and the gray is what's still left to go. So I'm gonna hit resume on here and we'll be able to watch it finish out or try to finish out this part because it's not actually connected. We're just testing it out.
<laughs> so there you go, nothing too impressive, but it's a good start and I'd call that a successful day. So next up is to actually try and get a power source to this plasma head and cut through this piece of aluminum that we're test cutting right now. I'm gonna work on that and I'll catch up with you when we get there.